Good morning. Welcome again to the worship experiences prepared for Hyattstown and Clarksburg United Methodist Churches. Um, if this is your first time with us, may I recommend the video that you'll find linked right up there. It uh, introduces me and the parish a little bit. Privileging life and health concerns over other preferences, we're continuing to gather in this virtual space, and the scriptures assure us that where two or more gather, God is with us. We're also assured that matters of time are insignificant to uh, God, even though they may be very significant to us. So if you're with us at the nine o'clock hour or at some later date than July 26th, welcome anyway. And we pray that uh, you'll know God's deepest blessings for you and your life. Our call to worship is Jill Duffield's arrangement of Psalm 105. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, call on God's name, make known the Lord's deeds among the peoples. We all sing to the Lord, sing praises to God, tell of all the Lord's wonderful works. Glory in God's holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and God's strength. Seek the Lord's presence continually. You might have noticed that uh, Rick is back at our keyboard today, and the first hymn for today is O oh, Worship the King. Prayer begins with confession. Happy are those who properly revere the Lord, who walk in God's ways. We come to this time of confession, seeking to walk in God's ways, aware that we often do take other paths, paths that do not lead to abundant life. So we trust God's mercy and God's promise to forgive, as we name aloud the ways in which we have fallen short and failed to follow Jesus Christ. Lord, you search our hearts. You see the places where they're hardened and resistant to your will. In this time of much upheaval and pain, we frequently turn away from those in need, seeking our own security instead of the well-being of all creation. Sometimes we let petty differences separate us from one another. We allow self-interest to overwhelm your commandment to love our neighbors. We fail to see your image evident in every person. Forgive us, we pray, and in your mercy, redirect us so that we can once again walk in your ways.
Our words of assurance are derived from Romans chapter 8. Paul's writing there. He asks the question, who will bring any charge against God's chosen? And what are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Christ Jesus is at the right hand of God, interceding for us. Friends, believe the good news. Through Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. We are invited, even commanded, to bring our prayers, prayers for ourselves, prayer for others. And we're on a journey of becoming, and we don't know fully how we ought to pray. But the Spirit helps us in our weakness and intercedes with sighs too deep for words. So we bring our intercessions, intercessions for ourselves and for others, confident that the Spirit prays in us according to God's will. Let's be at prayer. Lord, we come to this time of prayer with old wounds and new hopes. We come to you bringing new anxieties as well as old dreams, yearning for new creation and your vision. We look to you for guidance, for solace, for challenge, and for stamina. Some of the paths we travel during this time feel treacherous and daunting. We want to know where you would have us to go, and how we can find Jesus' way no matter where you send us. We need to know your near presence. God of beginnings and endings, as the summer heat deepens and the pandemic continues, we ask for your wisdom. May we not give in to our fears, either in retreat or in reckless impatience and denial, but instead inspire us with your spirit. Show us the new things that you are doing right now so that we may participate in them. And in all the upheaval and pain and the loss and the uncertainty, help us to see all the places where this chaos is opening space for a better way of life together. Grant us the courage not only to see the, the cracks in the structures of our society, but also grant us the faith to repair them so that we may build better communities for all your children. We pray this morning for unsettled economies, and we pray for those whose needs are overlooked in the choices of the powerful. May we who know so much privilege bear our responsibilities with open hearts and open hands. God of grace and mercy, we know that with your power, mustard-sized seeds give way to majestic, nurturing trees. An unseen leaven produces more than enough bread to feed the world. We bring our prayers for those suffering, suffering in body, mind, or spirit. May our faith in you lead us to act in ways that make your relationship with us evident and our discipleship transformative for others. Confident that your spirit intercedes for us in our weakness, we ask you to guide those in leadership positions making difficult decisions, decisions that will impact our children and our parents, our neighbors and our friends, our schools and our communities. You've blessed humanity with understanding and with the ability to choose. May we choose the good. Give to all leaders and people a vision of your world made whole and the wisdom to pursue it and the will to accomplish it. Give humility and insight to those in power. Give voice and strength to those who speak truth to power. Give relief and support to those with no power. Lord of all, we know nothing can separate us from your love and that through you all things are possible, and that your grace is sufficient, and that your will for abundant life cannot finally be thwarted. We praise you for these gifts, and we pray that our lives will reflect their truth.
Kathy has been sending out some emails with recommendations for videos, videos that present songs that would have been the choral anthem for the week. And this week, the anthem would have been God Will Take Care of You. This is a song that was written by Sevilla Martin, uh, same author as His Eyes on the Sparrow. Uh, Kathy sent out two links this week. One video has the lyrics, so you could sing along if you wished. And the other is just a performance she liked. And so if you don't get those emails, uh, let us know and we'll get you on the mailing list. A couple other quick announcements. We have the scripture and, and sermon video coming up in just a few moments. And then a Zoom meeting where we can visit in real time. Um, that, that will be at 11 o'clock. The Sunday School, um, there's also a video for the Sunday School, and you'll find links for the other videos for this week in the show notes below this one, below this video. So, uh, other announcements will be handled during our Zoom meeting. So, we are always invited as part of our uh, prayers to bring ourselves and our gifts. The Apostle Paul affirms his confidence that all things work together for good for those who love God and who are called according to his purpose. And Jesus tells us that the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, small but able to produce huge results, um, plants that can shelter and nurture the world. He tells us that even mustard seed-sized faith has the power to move mountains. So we trust that God will bring forth good from all that we offer today and day by day. It's our privilege to participate in the unfolding of God's grace in our world, so we give with grateful and expectant hearts. Thank you. For the way that you've continued to support our parish during this difficult time. Uh, your financial gifts um, make it possible for us to continue as a congregation. Our prayer of dedication. Holy One, receive each of our offerings as you receive our lives. Gather our false starts and uncertain efforts, our generosity and our reluctance. Enliven us with your breath, make your purposes known, so that our lives might show forth your glory. For we pray it in the name of Jesus and by the power of your Spirit. Amen. Closing hymn for this segment is Maker in Whom We Live. After the blessing for this segment, there'll be one more video segment of Rick at the keyboard. Uh, call it an interlude as we move toward our uh, sermon and uh, scripture segment.
May the God of creation, liberation, and illumination bless you this day and always. We serve them with boldness and joy. You'll see me in the scripture and sermon segment, then I hope to see you in Zoom. Thank you.